All right, we got the Buchon triangulated in our sights. I hate the term triangulated, by the way, but uh. We've got a probable location of Mojicoyo's Buchon. Let's get them. We still don't know who they are, the like their name or there, anything. Grab him and bring him in. It's so dark. You can barely see in front of me. What are we working with here? Feel like just walking down center stage isn't the best strategy, but That was pretty good. Over Quick shooting there, huh? Good speed. I got a third target. Oh, come on. Point this way again, I dare ya. Sicario over here. We're From good. Nowhere. We're good. Next to the Hacienda. Target spotted. We're looking for the biggest house in town. I think we found it. Let's say hello. Point him out. There, by the helo. No se mueva. Ponga las manos donde pueda verlas. Hey, talk to me. We're looking for the guy running Mojo Coyo. We know he lives here. Antonio? I don't know where he is. Bullshit. You're his wife. Yes, but he doesn't tell me anything. He barely comes home anymore. Antonio, he's... he's sick. Sick how? Chiputo loco. He took the women from the village. All of them. I don't know what he's doing to them. Where is he now? Why is there a siren? Me? What are you going to do? Nothing bad. Swear. We just want to get him the help he needs. He never stays anywhere long. Always moving. But I give you his agenda. Only that chopper. Stay low. What did you guys do? We got a chopper coming in. Down, get down, chopper. Fuck, they're heading this way. Man, my team is so fucking bad. I had this fine. Bru His name's Antonio. Seems to have a bit of a coat problem. This problem is getting less bit. 
Let him know we'll help him out with that. You can tell him yourself when we bring him in. Roman said the file on Antonio. Let's see his file. That's it. Antonio. No, no special name. Every week, more than six tons of white powder moves through Mojokoyo. It's a transit point where shipments are kept secure, awaiting export to Brazil, the US, and Europe. Antonio is the buchon out here, the boss. His job is to keep all that coke safe. Thing is, being surrounded by cocaine all day is a really stressful job. Like being the fat kid in charge of the sugar factory. And we all know what happens when you eat too much sugar. Your brain rots. You stop talking on phones. You stop trusting your own people. You stop going home to your wife. You even stop telling anyone when the shipments are coming in until the moment they arrive. When it comes to coke transports, Antonio is a vault. And I want to crack that motherfucker open. He sounds like he's not very good at his job. I could be wrong, but <laughs> that's kind of what what I'm getting from that. Good to go. Oh, it's gonna blow up. Uh -oh. We have to shoot down. Get away from there! He is! Oh, the you good. You all in one piece? That's not good. We got more tangos coming in. Hit the dirt, helicopter. We've got way too much heat. Snitched on me. What pinchy so plon focus huevos gave me up. I went to the shaman. He put me on a vision quest and I saw the future. Yes, of course. A huevo pendejo. Right back at you. Even if you find the polvo, don't mean you can get it. I got me plebe all over those shipments ready to give their lives for it. That's good, because I'm ready to take their lives for them. Well, we got out of there all right. I'm surprised. <laughs> Seemed like we were up in the shit creek there. Oh. Quite the road. You still all right in there? Get the fuck off me! I'm still surprised he survived standing next to an exploding car. Usually they die from that. <laughs> Antonio, it's such a pleasure. Vete a la verga, bitch. Stop flirting, you little slut. The fuck is this? Christmas. You didn't hear the news? News about what? Your death. Apparently, you OD'd. You want me to? I want to see your brain on drugs, pendejo. One way or another. They're forcing him to sniff cocaine?
Did huh. I tell you to stop? Keep going. This is really strange. She said keep going. I I can't. My heart feels like it's gonna explode. Please. That's the point. Now clean your plate. Please. You want Nidia Flores, right? She's in Jalisco. Jalisco, Mexico. Santa Blanca is investing in meth. I don't know how long she's there, really. The first step to recovery is admitting you have a problem. And you, my friend, have got a big fucking problem. He just did a lot of cocaine. <laughs> he just did a lot. But I guess that that zone seemed to go pretty quick. Nomad, just finished TQ on Antonio. What do you give us? Besides a whole lot of bitch tears? Everything. Main stash and transit depots. Every motherfucking gram in the province. Guessing there might be some management changes in Santa Blanca. If you want to light up Antonio's stashes, feel free. But if you want to look for nicer weather, you can leave the burning to somebody else. That coke's not going anywhere. Roger that. If we hang around, we'll send you some smoke signals. Let's see the video. Here's a lesson in cocaineonomics. The biggest mistake most people make is focusing solely on the product. Claro, you need something to sell, but that's not where you make the money. One kilo of coca leaves costs about $1.50. It takes 400 kilos of coca leaves to make one kilo of cocaine. Even when turned into cocaine base, a kilo is only worth 1,200 in Bolivia. However, every time you cross a border, the value increases. Once we reach Colombia, it's already 2,200. We hit Southern Mexico, 12,000. Cross the border into Texas, 20,000. New York City, our $1,200 investment is now worth 35,000. Paris, London, 68 to 74,000. It's a pipeline that carries Pretty good. the product to the people that need it. Sustenance for the thirsty. Once in place, the pipeline feeds itself. Workers, vehicles, wages, bribes. But when there's a clog in the pipe... Uh, they took out another shipment. We lost seven tons last week. Four planes the week before. The water backs up. There's too much surplus. We can't keep it secure. My men are selling to each other. We can't pay people if they're not moving product. They're kidnapping civilians for ransom money. Too much water. We have to take Valeria in gold. He'll kill us before we leave the country. Then what's the answer? When I find it, I'll let you know. And you drown. So is he gonna go after his... <laughs> Mirena? The beauty queen could be in trouble. Oh, she's probably gonna give us a lead on El Boquita then. Yeah? I'm waiting for it. I'll drive. Although, we've got La Plaga to go after. I think there was. Oh, right. We had the meeting with uh, El Sueño. I want to do that. So let's go over here and do it. Patch it through. ¿Qué pedo, pinche puto? Neta que eres pendejo. Hey, hey. I need you to calm down and speak slowly. They know I talked to you. Me mataste, hijo de la chingada. Where are you? Hiding at the church. But they're out there looking for me. Just stay there. We're on the way. Hey, it's you. Uh oh. Thank God you kept. I'm definitely not on the way. We just fast traveled out of there. And they're going after Antonio's wife. Oops. 
Well, that's too bad because uh, we're going for El Sueño. El Sueño. La Santera. El Santa Muerte what? Cult was made. What? What stopped the dialogue? El Sueño. What? Crazy Are you one. doing it? Motherfucker, I, I will shoot you. Actually, I want to take helicopter. El Sueño wants to meet. Maybe he wants to negotiate. Maybe he wants to kill you. Either way, watch your ass. There are a lot of lights and switches up here. Punch it, man. Let's go negotiate with the big man. Up high in the mountains. Oh, I'm glad we didn't take a car. Holy fuck, that would have been a long drive. And I think we've already driven up here. I recall this view. That's the edge of the map right there. That's why it turns all white. <laughs> oh, I see our little landing pad. It's not really a landing pad, but... Large cartel base. Keep your eyes open. Still don't see anybody. What the fuck is going on? Stay sharp. Watch for an ambush. This could be bad. Oh, he left a phone. phone. That's no IED. It's ringing too much. Find it. There's the phone. We're gonna answer. I ain't picking that shit up. Fuck's sake. I'm picking it up. Hola, caballeros. This is El Sueño. It is a pleasure to finally speak with you. And here I thought we were going to meet face to face. Don't tell me you're running late. I apologize for the subterfuge. But people in our line of work, we must be cautious. But I am not a liar. There are no Sicarios in your area. No need that. I only wish to talk. Tell us where you are. Then we'll talk. I am only attempting to end the bloodshed. There is no need for it. It's bad for my business. And it is bad for Bolivia. This country has been trying to get back on its feet for decades. Do not kick it back down. Says the guy who turned this country into his own personal glory hole. You got something of value to say? There are four cars in front of you. Consider them a signing bonus. You better say that again. Must be something wrong with my hearing. You want to hire us? You're four of the most dangerous people alive. Of course I want to hire you. Every day you risk your life for your country. And your government pays you casi nada. Put those skills to work for me, for Santa Blanca, and you will make more money than you can imagine. Sorry, but we're gonna have to politely ask you to go fuck yourself. See, we only came to this meeting to kill you. The fact that you aren't here just means you get a little more time on this earth. But I figure you should start saying your goodbyes, because we're coming for you, and we're gonna burn you down. So be it. I will enjoy watching you try. Why did we tell him we were going to kill him? We had a chance at another meeting. Bowman, we're still breathing. The Sueño made us a pretty lucrative job offer. Job offer? Did you take it? Benefits package wasn't great. We told him we were going to kill him. So you're stuck with us for now. Fair enough. Be in touch. Okay.
All right then. Well, that's our little meeting with El Sueño. But we also have La Plaga to go and get. Because El Sueño wants him dead and we can take advantage of that. So let's go do it. <laughs> 